While everyone's hyped up for a new major in Copenhagen, I've got some killer tips and tricks for you straight from the pro player Monacy. We all know he's one of the top bug hunters in CS2. These tricks will help you to outplay your opponents and boost your rank in premier mode. And don't forget to watch this video till the end, cause there's a secret trick waiting for you that no one knows about. But before we jump into the video, I gotta ask you to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss any of the awesome new videos. It lets me know that you like this kind of a content. Without further ado, let's get started. The first trick is on the Mirage map. Back in CSGO there was a glitch that let you silently jump from the box into the window. With the release of CS2 everyone thought this bug was fixed and wouldn't be in the new version. But not only does this glitch still work, there are also new spots for silent jumps. Let's start with the old one. To jump silently now, aim your crosshair at the center of the style, hold down shift plus walk and you will land without making a sound. Now you can also jump up with the window silently. Stand here, aim whether you like because it doesn't really matter. And to do it, walk to the edge with a shift and press S, back and D, right, as you fall. This way you will land without noise. But before trying this in-game, go to practice on your server, cause it takes time to get it consistently right. There is another spot in the window where you can jump down silently. It's handy if there is a smoke in the window and you're boosted to this position. To descend silently, aim your crosshair and press W and shift. On B plan there is a similar spot. The principle is the same. As you fall, press C plus D. But remember, you can't use these bugs in ESL tournaments. Staying near B plan, I'm gonna show you two useful grenades that will come in handy if you plan it above as default. The first one is a smoke that you throw a bit to the right of the stick and you gotta jump when you throw it. It lands right in the kitchen window. The second one is a molotov, which you toss right in the middle of where this wall and floor meet. You need to jump and press both mouse buttons for this throw and it lands in main. These two nades will help you to control the space on the plant and delay the city site. And the last thing I wanna show you on Mirage, there are two grenades for mid. The first one is a quick smoke for the window. To throw it, stand in front of the trash can and aim just a bit left on this line. Then throw it while pressing D, right, and jump throw. It lands perfectly in the window and leaves no gaps. The second smoke is thrown from the left side on the trash can. Aim at the second step on the carpet and throw it with the jump throw. The cool thing about this smoke is that it's quick and leaves no gaps. Under this smoke, the city side can't play in connector at all, so the only options they have is to throw a frag grenade, so keep that in mind. And let's move on to the nuke map. On B plan there are double doors and most people open them and stay like this. But there is a little known trick with these doors. If you quickly open the right door twice, only the right door opens. So this creates an element of surprise. Opponents coming down from ramp will think the doors are closed and check other positions. Your job is to peek at the right moment. The next trick is on A plant. If you approach these doors and stand in the middle, you can actually jump on them. You need to jump quickly. I know, it's pretty hard to do, I spent like 40 minutes getting right for the first time. Spend some more time mastering the jump and you can surprise your opponent with a neat trick. Moving on to the last trick on this map that involves grenades. Let's go step by step. The first smoke is thrown from this corner, aim a bit left on this line and throw with the jump throw. This smoke lands above main. It serves three purposes. First, it blocks the passage to main. Second, it helps a player on silo drop down to main under flash, giving you confidence in this position. The third function pairs with two more grenades thrown from the same spot. First, throw with the smoke I just showed you, and for the second smoke, aim right at the first window and throw it with the jump throw. The third nade is thrown in the middle of the third window with walk plus jump throw. 
These smokes let you take secret, but remember to stay close to the smokes while passing. If you go past the red box, you're visible from heaven. And let's take a look at the Anubis map. I've got a few grenade tricks for you. The first one is a smoke for the connector. This smoke is unique because it goes deeper than others. To throw it, stand in the corner, aim here and use a jump throw. To fully cut off the connector on the city side, grab a molotov and aim at this corner. Then walk up close to another corner and throw it while moving a bit. Now step into the smoke and slightly out of it. You can spot your pushed back enemy and catch them off guard. This trick works thanks to the new smoke mechanics. Just don't go far in it or you'll take damage from the molotov. The second trick on this map also involves grenades, but on a plant. They land in heaven and city. To throw the first, aim just right of this black dot and use a walk jump throw. The second is the molotov thrown in the middle of this line with the jump throw. It's crucial to follow these up with two solid flashbangs, thrown from here and one with the jump throw and the other with the walk plus jump throw. And now, as promised, a bonus trick on Vertigo. You'll need your teammate to give you a boost in this position. The idea is to take our enemies coming up the ramp or trying to throw a molotov over the cement. This only works if you have a form gun. Climb on your teammate, then jump to the left using only the E key and press D right at the peak of your jump for the silent landing. With the form gun, taking down an enemy mid-jump is easy, but it takes time to get this just right, so practice on your map before trying it in the game. Those were the latest monster tricks as for now. Hope this video helps you out. If so, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It motivates me to keep dropping videos like this. That's all for now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.